Hey guys, Faisal here with HTC One Soft Modder, and uh, today I'm going to show you something that you probably will want to do as soon as you rip your new HTC One M8 out of its box. Um, if you've been following along with Soft Modder here, then you know that uh, anything that requires rooting or modding, um, basically you're going to need to have USB debugging on, and um, by default that's hidden away in the developer settings. Um, which is also hidden away because not too long ago Google mandated that manufacturers actually hide that setting um, so that you know most customers don't inadvertently uh, turn something on or turn something off that they're not meant to um, but uh, because we're gonna need a lot of the things in there for uh, soft mods uh, we're gonna want to unlock that so the first thing you want to do is go ahead and swipe down and go to settings. You can also get there from the app drawer. And then you're going to scroll down and you'll see where you would normally find developer settings. It's actually absent here. So just hit about, go to software information, go down to more, and then right here on the bottom you're going to see build number. Uh, you're going to want to tap this about seven times uh, and you'll see a toast notification down here that lets you know that you're getting close. Uh, I've already tapped it a few times but you can see here when you start tapping three, two, one, and it'll say now you are a developer, and that's really it. Um, you know, it's it's hidden, but not really because it's pretty easy to unlock. But um, now you'll see it here. So this is the stock settings, uh, and right above AT&T software update, you'll now have developer options. Oops, and from here you can do quite a few things. Um, but again, they put up a warning that these are for development testing purposes. Um, so you know, just be careful. Uh, anything that you do here, um, you know, note what the default setting is so that you can easily go back uh, in case you know you did something that maybe you didn't want to. But you know, there's a few things here. Uh, you can change your runtime, which is uh, one of those things that came with KitKat. It's called Art. Now, I wouldn't recommend doing this now. There's a lot of apps that aren't compatible with it, but um, you can turn it on, check it out. Uh, it actually does make your phone quite a bit snappier. Um, and if you know if you find yourself having issues, just head back in here, switch back to Dalvik, and you're all good to go. Uh, a few other things, uh, USB debugging. This is a big one, so that's usually the first thing I do when I get a, a phone or a load a new ROM. Uh, you can also, you know, uh, do things like show touches, uh, pointer location. There's another advanced menu which has even more options here, and we'll get into some of these in other tutorials. But uh, now that you have this enabled. Play with it, check it out. If you have any questions about any of the things that you see in there, uh, go ahead and drop those in the comments below or in the article comments. And uh, stay tuned, we're going to have a ton more stuff for you on this brand new device. Um, again, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe on the video. Check out the full tutorial, and we'll see you next time. Thanks, guys.